Let's take a look at the arterial supply of the stomach. First grab some paper, a pencil, and some colored pencils. Now draw with us. Drawing gives you a clarification of what you're studying. And we make it so simple here that you have no excuse. Let's start off drawing the esophagus, entering the stomach. Now draw the greater curvature and the lesser curvature. Lastly, we have our duodenum. Okay, now you got the basics. Now let's draw on the abdominal aorta. Here we'll focus our attention on the celiac trunk at the level of T12. Draw a circle right over here. All the arteries discussed today will arise from here. It has three branches in total. The first is the smallest branch. It goes towards the esophagus and winds around the lesser curvature of the stomach, stopping midway. This is the left gastric artery. Next branch is the largest branch of the celiac trunk. It's the splenic artery. It is a torturous artery going posterior to the stomach on the upper border of the pancreas. It goes to the spleen and gives off a branch supplying the fundus of the stomach. And it's called the short gastric artery. And a branch going down around the greater curvature called the gastromental artery. The last branch is the common hepatic artery. And just near the duodenum, it branches off into the gastroduodenal artery, going down and behind the duodenum. It then branches into two. Here's the right gastromental artery going along the greater curvature of the stomach, meeting with the left gastromental artery. Now from the common hepatic artery, we have this branch called the proper hepatic artery going towards the liver. From the proper hepatic, we have our last artery to the stomach called the right gastric artery. It meets with the left gastric artery along the lesser curvature. Now we have some relevant arteries that we're gonna label. You saw the splenic artery going towards the spleen. It gives off an artery supplying the pancreas, the pancreatic artery. Next, from the gastroduodenal artery, we have the superior pancreatical duodenal artery. Also, let's take a look at the proper hepatic artery, which divides into the left and the right hepatic artery. These arteries supply the left and right lobe of the liver. The right hepatic artery gives off a branch called the cystic artery, and it goes to our gallbladder. Now stop what you're doing. I don't see you holding a pencil or have any paper in front of you. Just because I knew this was gonna happen, go grab something really quick, and let's do a nice quick recap. Okay, ready? Let's go. The source, the abdominal aorta, the main focus, the celiac trunk from T12, the left gastric loop around the lesser curvature, the windy splenic artery to the spleen, gives off the pancreatic artery, then here is the short gastric, below it is the left gastromental artery, to our left we draw a common hepatic, going down and posterior to the duodenum is our gastroduodenal artery, branching into superior pancreatic duodenal and our right gastromental. From our common hepatic, it turns into the proper hepatic, gives off the right gastric, and the rest goes towards the liver as the right and the left hepatic. From the right hepatic, we have our cystic artery to our gallbladder. The end. Listen, I can't stress it enough. Just draw. This is how we teach, mind mapping these structures into your head in time for test day. So what you learned, you'll never forget. If you're enjoying these videos, please hit the subscribe button to your right. Stay up to date with our diagrams, Q&A, and more on Instagram. And also, please support us on Patreon. Lots of blessings from RevMed.